And my favorite page is February. Just because we're kissing. Mom. It has us kissing. <laughs> That's my favorite. Well, it's part. our anniversary too. And it's our anniversary month. So anyway, we have been putting these together for a while and we are so excited. We did such a great job with them. They are really made, they are really quality made, is what I'm trying to say. And um, we are so excited that we decided that tonight, opening night, that everyone, every single person who orders tonight is going to get an autograph. Signed copies. With whoever, well, the, the little kids can't write, yeah. but everyone who can write <laughs> will get. We'll sign it. Yeah, we'll sign so, it. So. Only the orders tonight. If you get it after tonight, you're just lucky. Yeah. So. Anyway, the um, website to buy these is in the description below. Yeah. So let's get Let's signed. get signing. Woo! Okay, today's vlog is a little bit more serious again. Uh, there's been so many questions so in regard to many. to Matthew and Miles. Now, as you know, we really had, well, we really hadn't planned on talking about this yeah, just really. up front. This isn't something that we want to talk about. It's a very sensitive subject. Um, so we'll can... answer as best we can. We can't get any more specific than what we're doing today. Yes. So, and we're going to talk about this one time. Yeah, just, <laughs> this is the only time. And I know you guys have hundreds of comments of what happened to Miles, what happens to Matthew. So yeah. here it is. Yeah, And as you know, we've had a lot of, of foster kids. We've had up to about 60 or so. Yes. Obviously, we didn't adopt them all. No, we wanted um, to. <laughs> quite a few of them went to like biological family, like grandmothers and things like that. Uh, and then there are the ones that you know of where the adoption didn't work out, which yeah. is so Matthew, Miles and Matthew. No. We actually had three or four that didn't work out, yeah. but the ones that you met were Miles and Matthew. Right. And so Miles is the biological brother to Harlan, Addison, and Aubrey. Right. And um, he lived with us for probably about a year, Miles did. Yeah. And we just noticed spending time with him that he just needed a little bit more help, and some kids do. They've been through a lot. There's a lot of trauma. There's a some lot of trauma. Some kids go through some serious stuff. So he, um, we were in the middle of moving when we realized this, and so we decided to make a really tough decision of leaving him there so he can do counseling because where we were moving, he couldn't get the treatment that he really needed. Well, plus he was already halfway through a program that was like really, really yeah. good. So and we, we didn't decided, want to it. yeah, we don't want to interrupt anything. So we decided we're going to leave him in a group home that we trust and love yeah. already. So we knew we were leaving him in a safe place and um, we were going to go ahead and move. And then once he finished his treatment, then he could rejoin us. Right. So what happened is he did finish his treatment. And when he went to rejoin us, um, they wouldn't let him. Yeah. So CPS or DCS was absolutely on board and said, yes, he can come back to you. But we have what kind of like governs everything. Is uh, it's called OLR. I know that's kind of confusing. Yeah, and, it's like an office of licensing and something. Right. Else. It has to do with our licensing. So yeah. our license was good, but they feel like, and we can we can understand <laughs> that we have too many kids because we do have 20 kids. So um, we then fought it. And we fought and, and fought, fought and, and fought. fought and fought and fought to get him back in our house. It just made sense because we had his, his brothers siblings. and sisters. Like, right. And we already had him And it before. was the plan all along. That was the plan. And DCS knew that, but OLR didn't. Yeah. So finally we did win that and he did get to come back to us. And yes. we were so excited. And um, then once he got here and we got to spend time with again, we realized and he realized yeah. that he wasn't dying. He, still he wasn't really dying. needed to go back for some more treatment, some yeah. more help. So we made the super, super heart, super, I don't even, I can't even, I'm, I'm not going to cry. Yeah. We made such a hard decision to go ahead and let him get the treatment that he needed. Knowing, knowing that we couldn't fight that battle That again. we couldn't get to do it again and we that couldn't. he wasn't going to come back to us. Yeah. So, I mean, um, 
There was really no other option then. There was no option. There really wasn't. Yeah. And so... I mean, at this point, we don't even have a foster care adoption license. We don't. And so even if we did, OLR is saying 20 is enough and you can't take any more. Yeah. So, um, Matthew, really quick. Matthew's case was a little bit different. Uh, we do have his younger brother. Um, and they still talk on occasion. Uh, but Matthew actually chose to not be here. Yeah. And, we and you know what, this big of a family him. is not for everyone. It's really not. He did struggle. <laughs> he I mean, did his struggle. whole life he grew up in a group home He grew up in a group home and, with boys. And yeah. so when we put him in a house full of girls. <laughs> yeah. And, and he did struggle. I mean, it was struggled. such a huge change for him. And we tried and tried and tried to get him to stay and telling him, you know, with the struggles we're going through with OLR and whatnot, there, if you you're leave, not going to be able to come back whether we want you or not. Yeah, and so unfortunately what yeah. happened is he did decide to go ahead and leave and go back to his group home. And then he changed his mind and decided, wait a minute, I do want I do want this family, I do want to come back, but unfortunately because of there's OLR, nothing there's nothing we could do at that point. So we wanted him back, we wanted Miles back, and we actually want Jacob's sister so bad. He has a yeah. sister out there um, who is in foster care and yeah. we've been fighting for her and we want her so bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, we just we can't. can't. So in our hearts, it may not be on paper, but in our hearts, these kids They're ours. are ours. They're our kids. They mean everything to us and when they age out of foster care, they are going to be in our families no matter what. Yeah. No matter They'll what, they're our kids. Our family, so. so it may not be on paper, but eventually They'll be with us, so you will see them probably in the future. We hopefully, hope. hopefully, we, hopefully we really works truly out. hope so. Yeah, I mean it may be a few years, but we really do hope so. Yes. Until then, we just keep in contact with everyone best that we can, yeah. and just love them. Yeah. So, anyway, thank you so thank much you for so joining much us. For we joining wanted us. this is a short it, blog. It's but really short today, but we just wanted to get this out so that yeah, everything is so we can out. answer those questions to the best that we can. Yes. So. Anyway, if you do have some more questions, though, you're welcome to put you're them welcome below. You're welcome to comment. We'll, we'll reply on a happy to note, can. On a happy note, calendars are out today. Yes, they are. Website's in the description, so check those out. Yes. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Bye-bye.